Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome to our second upload of Wednesday. That's right, lads. Wednesdays are for Westeros. And as such, I do have a very, very important uh, video to show you guys today. So previously, you guys did in fact vote in a, uh, a very important poll for Crusader Kings 3 regarding our next couple of uh, series or content and everything like that. Because of the unfortunate destruction of our Bastard Dragon series, I'm actually very, very upset. We were doing so well. We became the king of the Crownlands and the Stormlands. We had King's Landing as our, uh, our realm capital. We were literally sitting upon the Iron Throne. We had our massive dragon and our Valyrian steel sword and everything. And unfortunately, the newest update of the game did in fact break that, uh, that save game. But what this means is that it opens up new opportunities for us to create even more content and newer styles of storytelling for you all. And so you guys did in fact vote in a poll as to what our newest series shall be. Your options were to play as a bookmark character, uh, attempt another Bastard Rebellion, playing tall in Essos, or any other suggestion you guys would have thrown in the comment section. Now, out of 184 votes, 61% of you did in fact vote for a Bastard Rebellion. And honestly, I am perfectly fine with that outcome, because I, I for one, did in fact enjoy our uh, Bastard Dragon series and everything like that, as short-lived as it was, unfortunately. But before we jump into any kind of adventure, we must first decide what Bastard House you want to watch. So, I do have, in fact, three options for you lads. Option number one is in fact Lord Roland Storm of House Dondarrion. He is a intrigue focused spy master who aims to uh, scheme and murder his way to the top and uh, hopefully usurp all of the Stormlands. But first, he will start small and uh, overtake all of the lands of House Dondarrion. So he will begin here in uh, High Scar, which was originally taken over by House Cole. Uh, but I don't like House Cole because of Sir Kristen from House of the Dragon. So fuck that guy and fuck House Cole. So now we are here as the uh, the Lordship of High Scar. But we are in fact the uh, the bastard of House Dondarrion. We are Lord Roland Storm, and eventually we aim to take over all of Blackhaven and uh, hopefully uh, a majority of the Stormlands. Hopefully we can become the uh, the Lord Paramount of Storms and and all of the Stormlands. We shall scheme our way to the very top of nobility. Uh, as a matter of fact, we do have an intimidation focus currently. We already have three perks unlocked. We have Dark Insights because I want to push our way towards uh, the Torturer trait. I would absolutely love to uh to fuck around and be like the the black storm of uh of house don darian and just be like this murderous little bastard honestly and i and i truly love it he's got 24 uh intrigue skill uh and i honestly i'm actually really excited to try and play this one so even if this does not end up being the series you guys want to watch uh i might actually play this one on my own just because i i do want to try out the intrigue focus uh, at least once. So, option number two is Lord Warren Flowers of House Hightower. Now, this is our martial focus. This man is going to carve his way up to the top. He wishes to usurp the uh, the seat of House Hightower of Old Town and take it for his own. We will begin here in the lands of Black Crown, which is uh, originally taken by uh, House Bulwer. Um... So don't don't worry. Once we like have a spouse and our first child and our dynasty, our bastard dynasty is born. Uh, I did in fact remake the House Hightower sigil on like an all black background with like the orange bull of House Bulwer down here at the base, and then our dynasty name is gonna be Bull Tower, B U L Tower. So uh, worry not for those of you who may like personally enjoy House Bulwer or whatever have you. Uh, they will still be, you know, a firm part of our playthrough. But essentially, the goal is to carve our way to the top of Old Town, to the top of the High Tower itself, and usurp the seat that rightfully belongs to us. Bastard or no, these lands shall be ours. I absolutely, like, I just, I can't get over how well he looks, actually. I know he's wearing, um, Robert Baratheon's, uh, you know, armor and everything. 
but the the dynastic armor so it's got like a our personal sigil on it i think it looks really good he's a great mountain of a man i absolutely love the way he looks the the flowing red hair and the nice groomed beard and then of course the uh the menacing scarred face and the orange eyes that are pretty uh pretty distinct to a uh, house high tower i think it's uh it's pretty cool so if, for those of you who want like a nice actiony playthrough where we just like declare war after war after war this will be the playthrough for you guys and our final option is in fact lord cedric hills of toll pass of house Lannister. He will be, in fact, the uh, the rags to riches type kid. So while we were going through our look of the uh, the new update, we did notice that Toll Pass, despite being of the Westerland culture, was in fact aligned with House uh, Tyrell of the Reach, which I thought was pretty interesting. So I played around with the idea of what if we played as the bastard son of Lord Titos. Lannister. We are in fact the uh, bastard brother of Tywin Lannister himself. And to secure the, uh, you know, the bloodline of his rightful heir, Tywin Lannister, Lord Titos did in fact banish us to the Toll Pass and said, here, the Reach, you can have this little bastard. And thus, here we are. Now I did decide not to take the, uh, the Lannister look for one reason only, and it's because the dynasty name that I plan on using for this, once we have our bastard dynasty, is uh, is House Silvermane. Now it's going to be the, uh, the lion sigil of House Lannister, but it's going to be all silver on a blue background. And the way we're going to do this is by building tall, basically. We have one, two, three, four, and five counties within our uh, our de jure lands here in Toll Pass. And we are going to build tall as much as we can and see if we can't just, you know, outpay, you know, House Lannister. I also did set ourselves up uh, a little bit for this playthrough. So uh, we did, in fact, try and negotiate a, uh, a marriage alliance with Elena Rain of House Rain. So I figured that the two lions, House Rain and House Silvermane, will team up to try and usurp the Westerlands from House Lannister. But that is it, lads. Those are our three options. So please pick your favorites within the comment section below. And of course, there will be an accompanying... Uh, poll within the community tab so that we can get an official vote and a, an official decision from our community as a whole as to which bastard house you wish to see within the lands of Westeros. Now, I don't have a particular favorite. I do like all three of these uh, these play styles for different reasons, obviously. Playing tall within the Westerlands is always going to be a fun time just because of the massive amounts of gold that we can amass. Uh, the martial focus, obviously, is going to be really, really fun because it's just nonstop action and warfare, especially with this big, brutish man who wants so badly to usurp the, uh, the seats of House Hightower. And then, of course, being uh, House Bull Tower, having that badass bull sigil on the High Tower uh, heraldry and everything is going to look so fucking cool. And then, of course, uh, being able to experiment a little bit as a torturer, as the sadistic mind of, uh, of House Dondarrion. So for that guy, I forgot to mention, but for that guy, we basically have the same sigil as House Dondarrion, but it's a yellow background and the whole sigil is black. So it's like a black lightning bolt and then black sparks and whatever. And our dynasty name is going to be Black Storm. So those are the three options, you guys. There will be a poll within the community tab as well on the channel. So feel free to pick your favorite, throw your suggestions in the comment section below, and then we will see which series comes up as the victor on Sunday's episode. But until then, my friends, always remember honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your bastard Lord Commander, will see you in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you.